In Cambodian, we call these Naim Sra, and in English, we translate it to fresh spring rolls. These delicious fresh rolls go so well with two kinds of sauce. We can have it with sweet and sour fish sauce, or you can have it with the peanut hoisin sauce. It is so fresh and delicious that I could eat so many of them in one sitting. And today I will show you how to make these delicious fresh spring roll for you and your family at home. And I will also show you how to make the peanut hoisin sauce. If you are new here, don't forget to press the subscribe button for more delicious homemade recipes. And also press the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. Okay, let's get started. Let's check all the ingredients that we need. So we need some mint, some cilantro is optional, some bean sprouts, cucumbers, some green leaves, some pork loins, and some prawns. And the next ingredient is the rice paper. You could grab these from um, any Asian grocery store or from Superstore. And next, I'm going to show you all the ingredients that we need to make the peanut hoisin sauce. We need some water, some smooth peanut butter, and some hoisin sauce itself. The very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to boil 3 liters of water to cook the pork loin. Once the water is boiling, you could put in the pork loin. You can use pork loin or you could use pork belly. But if you are using any other kind of meats, I don't recommend boiling it. Add 1 tablespoon of salt. By adding a little bit of salt will make the pork loin taste better and not so bland. Cook it on medium-high heat for 35 minutes. While we are waiting for the pork loin to get cooked, we can clean the bean sprouts and the salads and the mints. And if you want to grow your own bean sprouts at home, follow me on my next video, I will show you how. You want to clean the bean sprouts and the vegetable first before you do anything else, so this way, the water will drain out while we are waiting for the other ingredients to be ready. And when it is time for us to use them, there is not much water on them. Put those on the sides and now we're going to work on the prawns. You want to use skinless and deveined prawns. If you buy the prawns with the skin, you can either boil it with the skin and then peel it off. Or you can peel them and devein them and then cook them after. In one liter of boiling water, we're going to cook the prawns. After you add them in, add one teaspoon of salt. These are the prawns that I cut in half and then cooked them. I want to show you later on how it turned out. It doesn't take long to cook them, so cook them for one minute. After one minute, you can drain out the water and leave on the side to let it cool down. After 35 minutes, our pork loin is now done. You could put it on a plate and let it cool down. While we are waiting, we're going to cook the noodles. These are vermicelli noodles, the golden swallow, in the red package. You could buy them at any Asian grocery store or at Superstore. In 4 liters of boiling water, you're going to cook the vermicelli noodles. You're going to cook it on medium-high heat for 15 minutes. Often stir and break them apart while cooking. After 15 minutes, the vermicelli noodles is now ready. Rinse it with cold water and pour the water out for about 3 times. Rinse it until the noodle is cooled down and the water become more clear. Once the water is transparent and the noodle is cooled down, we're going to grab the noodle and squeeze the water out bit by bit. By doing this, you'll need a little basket that put on the side. You're going to uh, grab the noodle using your pointing fingers, hook it up, and squeeze the water out. In the near future videos, I can show you how to squeeze and fold the noodles. To get a really nice kind fold uh, noodle, you have to use a different kind of noodles, not this kind. This kind of noodle is usually you don't need to use your finger to hook it and squeeze the water out. 
you can put enough noodles in your palm and squeeze the water out. After you finish with the noodle, you can leave them on the side for now. And next, we're going to cut up some cucumbers and then prepare all our vegetables. Cut the uh, cucumber in about 2 inch to 2 inch and a half. And after that, cut it in half and slice it thinly. And with the salad and the mint, you want to shake off the water before you put them into the tray. You also can put all the bean sprouts in the same tray. Put them aside and while we get other ingredients ready. These are the cooked prawns that we let it cool down. Now we can cut them in half. You remember earlier when I show you when I cooked the shrimp and I cut it in half and then I cook it? If you cut the raw prawns and then cook them, the prawns will become curly, just like this one. And you won't get the flat look of the prawns after you cut them in half. So don't cut them in half and then cook them. Leave it whole and then cook them. Put the cooked prawns in a plate and now we could cut up the pork loin. Cut it into three pieces and after you're going to thinly slice them. At this point you're probably thinking, wow it is a lot of work. Yes, it is a lot of work. But now we're almost done. Just one more thing to do before we can roll up the fresh spring rolls. We're going to make peanut hoisin sauce. Turn on the heat and pour one cup of water. 3 tablespoons of smooth peanut butter 4 tablespoons of hoisin sauce Stir and mix well and bring them to boil. Stir until everything combined together. And that's it to making this easy peasy delicious peanut hoisin sauce. Pour it into a bowl and let it sit on the side for now. Now we got everything ready to roll the fresh spring rolls. We got the protein, the vermicelli noodle, the sauce, the crushed peanut, the wrap, and all the fresh vegetables. I also made sweet and sour fish sauce as well to go with it. I made it in a separate video just before this video, you can check it out. Before we start to roll the fresh spring rolls, I want to talk to you about this rice paper. This rice paper in this color is the only rice paper that will get soft with in room temperature you don't need hot water or warm water. And if you cannot find this kind, you have to use the hot or warm water to get the rice paper softened. And here I can show you how easy it is to uh, get it softened. It is going to be a thinner kind, so you soak it in the water and after it all soaked, put it on the board. You also want to make sure that the bowl that you are using to put the water in, it is big enough for you to dip in your rice paper. Make it wet in all angle and after put it on the board. You're going to put green leaves first and after you want to put bean sprouts. The reason you want to put bean sprouts right now because you don't want the bean sprouts to poke through the rice paper. Now put in any other vegetable that is on top of that, that is, doesn't matter. It could be cucumber first or mint first. After you put all the vegetable and the green leaves and the uh, bean sprouts, now you can put in the noodles. You see the noodle is kind of blocking and protecting the bean sprouts from poking out. Now you could put the meat, your protein, any kind you like. And next is the prawns. The prawns that we cut in half, put about four pieces or put more or less, it's up to you. You want to put the outside shrimp facing down, not the inside shrimp. And now that you got all this together, you're going to fold it over. After you fold it over one time, you're going to fold one side in. After you fold the one side in, fold the other side and start rolling them until the end. And that's it, you got it. And again, the next clip is going to be a faster speed. You could watch and see how I do it.
and that's it you got everything uh, done that was fast right so now you're going to fold it over and you're going to fold one side in and fold the other side and roll it all the way to the end and now we got this delicious and pretty looking fresh spring roll all done yay this kind of rice paper wrap is thinner it's not the thick kind so you have to be gentle with it and so when you dip into the water you want to make sure that you don't over soak it otherwise it will get really soft and it could get ripped and after we finish with making all of them you can use the brush dip in the oil lightly brush with the oil so that way when you could stack them together they don't stuck together and that is all to it to making these delicious and healthy fresh spring rolls i hope this video will help you to make the delicious and fresh spring roll for you and your family at home and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to press the subscribe button for more delicious homemade recipes. I upload new video weekly, so make sure to press the notification bell so you won't miss any of my future videos. Thank you so much everyone for watching my video from beginning until the end. And I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye for now. In that afternoon, I ended up eating 8 of them. It was so good. I didn't want to stop eating, but I have to. I have to save some for other people later. <laughs>